wizards, welcome back. Now today I got a cool one to show you that I think you're all gonna love from both a concealment and a practicality standpoint. Plus it makes me look about a billion times cooler than I actually am. Today we'll be completing our Predator ghillie setup with the Bees Viper and Cobra Hood along with the rear backpack cover. Previously I've shown you the Predator ghillie helmet cover and gat wrap that we'll be incorporating into our fully decked out setup. So if you wanna see more about those, I'll put a link to them up here and those videos and products down in the description if you need to catch up and get everything all set up. The Viper and Cobra hoods have really impressed me because it's just this lightweight system that you can smash down in a pack and then be able to adapt to just about any environment and not need a whole nother set of gear just in a different specialty color. I think you guys are really gonna love it, but before we get into it, let's take a moment, thank today's sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by Nocturne Industries. Nocturne leads the way in pushing the envelope of night vision housings with the integrated IR illuminator and manual gain of the ruggedized Manicore R, along with the lightweight katana to keep speed at the maximum. Then there's also the insane quad chimeras coming to the market soon. So from the beginner in night vision to the operational professional, Nocturne Industries has you covered. I've gotten to use the Manicore R in a ton of night vision training and product testing. I think I just showed you guys some illuminators last week and I've just absolutely loved them. Now, night vision is extremely expensive, so make sure to use discount code TLDCO if you pick up some stuff over on the Nocturne Industries website. So yeah, love me some Nocturne as they're just some great people over there. So now let's dive into it and answer the question of what the heck is the Bees Combat Systems Cobra and Viper hoods. The Viper and Cobra use an oversized hood that is actually designed to be used with a helmet. To give a warfighter a system to break up their visual profile while still being maneuverable, breathable, and lightweight. The main focus of the Viper and the Cobra hoods though is that they're fast and they don't restrict movements like a big ass heavy ghillie suit. Instead of that sloth-like movement of the ghillie sniper, this was born out of the warfighters in Ukraine that needed to move fast from like forest and wooded areas to urban and back to forest again and be able to do it quickly and unrestricted. I'll tell you that it feels like they definitely nailed it because I, I don't feel restricted in my movement in any way. But tell you what, we'll test it all out at the end. First though, let's get it on the bench and see what this thing's all about. Starting first at the top, we see the oversized hood that has these 3D patterns laser cut into the design to pop and break up your head profile. The Cobra and Viper hoods also includes dreads you can tie in to help add additional 3D breakup. You can see how I've tied them in to give an additional leafy pattern. Now you have to actually install the dreads yourself and that's something some people out there may cry and complain about. But it really helps you to familiarize yourself with the product and then to set up the actual 3D breakup where you need it for your profile and your unique form. I'll just say trust the process. I think I would be pretty annoyed if I just got like a cookie cutter setup. I really like how you make the whole thing yours. Along the outside of the hood, you have a series of bungees connected to the shoulder area to keep the veil covering the side of the face. The idea here is to use this to break up the whole triangle of the face, as this is a really easily recognizable feature to be like, hey, there's a person out there. Breaking up the round profile of helmets with all your lights and everything on them helps an absolute ton too. The rear of the Cobra hood also has a bungee to situate the hood correctly when worn with a helmet, but it is recommended to leave this loose unless it doesn't work somehow with your setup. Moving down to the chest, we have an adjustable, one size fits pretty much everyone chest strap system. So you can adjust this down for whatever you're wearing, like a bigger, more overt plate carrier with like a huge admin pocket or something, or you could tighten it down for like slick plate carriers, or, or even get it nice and tight if you're one of those super cool guys with your, with your chest rig in this setup. Now, Grantham showed some thermal mitigation stuff in his escaping from a drone video, and he used something similar to this bee spectral flage, but instead of securing it down in any way, he just kind of like bunched it up and just, just threw it over his shoulders. Those thermal blankets just aren't designed to be worn, number one. And number two, they don't have a good way to secure down when moving through brush or woodland areas. Just like laying a thermal blanket on your back doesn't do much for thermal mitigation either. Here though, the Viper and Cobra hoods are actually worn correctly and secured into your gear to make a far more cohesive system. Moving down the arm, we see this sleeve system that includes areas to attach in dreads like the hood section, along with having these cool hexagonal designs on the front chest connection. These sections allow you to connect in molly if you wanna do that, or add in like trees or brush or whatever like native plants there are, 
or even put in grass in these areas so you blend in even better in the environment that you're in. The sleeve uses a bungee system to connect into the arm separate from the main hood so you maintain full flexibility and remain completely unrestricted in your movement. I'd say freedom of movement is definitely a high point. I don't see any issues and I can easily move around with a weapon system and manipulate everything. It's, it's pretty nice. Plus anything with hexagons on it, it's just absolutely badass. Moving to the rear, we see the main difference between the Cobra and the Viper hoods. The Predator Cobra hood uses a full length rear section that uses the same laser cut pattern and slits to add in additional dreads. The Cobra has a molly section along the front to connect in the weight strap to secure the entire system to you for a cohesive system that isn't just draped over you. The Viper Lite, on the other hand, has the rear section open and is designed to be worn with a pack and utilize the Predator Ghillie backpack cover. So if you plan on using a pack, the Viper and backpack cover will make the most comfortable setup, whereas the Cobra hood is the better choice for full coverage if you're running a lighter weight setup. Now, I haven't shown you this actual rear pack yet, but it's actually the same as the helmet cover and the gat wrap and how you put it all together. You do also have some different sizing purchasing options when you buy the rear backpack cover. So make sure to pay attention if you're doing like a small cover for like a recondite or just like a rear plate carrier pack kind of setup. Or if you're doing something monster and need like a full medium cover for like a mystery ranch pack. The pack cover comes to you like this with your bungee and dreads included. As I've shown you previously, Start with the center position and work the bungee around the cover, alternating up and down between each section to give the product more life in how it looks. Do you have to do it that way? No, absolutely not. You can experiment with what works out best for you. I just found this was the method that made the whole system pop the most and look the most realistic and also break up your profile the most. Once fed all the way through, connect into the included cord lock to secure it all down. You can also put a small knot in the end so then you can have a quick adjustment through your cord lock without having to worry about it all coming loose. Then place the backpack cover over your pack and adjust the tension according to the different size pack to adapt it to different environments along with giving it that 3D breakup. Now if I wasn't sure if I was going to use a pack or not, I would probably just go with the longer Cobra hood and then just use a backpack cover whenever I did use it. But for more dedicated load-bearing setups, it makes more sense to do the Viper and backpack cover to save some money and remove some extra layers. So that's the whole system. And now, B's kind of claim to fame is that this thing is so lightweight, it can just collapse down to a small form factor and you can just throw it in a bag. So I wanna see if that's true. The Viper hood and backpack covers only take moments to remove. And shockingly, the design really does allow the whole thing to just collapse down super small to throw in the back of a pack. On my mystery ranch, I actually just keep the whole backpack cover hidden in this small top compartment along with some other tools. The gat wrap and the helmet cover, they do take a moment more to put on and take off, but I don't think they really get in the way. And I would probably in most situations just leave these on all the time. Well, maybe not the bright helmet cover in an urban environment, but if you wanted to remove these, these guys would also squish down easily into the same pack. Now, the material is also hydrophobic, meaning it doesn't hold water or have any additional weight when wet. Now, one I got from bees that is apparently a question they get all the time is asking, since it's hydrophobic, does that mean it's waterproof like a poncho? Why, why are they asking this all the time? Hey kids, go get the hose. Apparently we're gonna test and see if this big thing with holes in it, because apparently this is a challenge, is waterproof. I had to switch out what mic we have so we don't get it all wet. Okay, let's do it. We are doing the waterproof test. Oh, oh it's cold. That's cold on my back. Yep, nope, it's definitely not waterproof. But unlike a poncho, the Predator hoods are extremely breathable, keeping you cool and shaded in a hot environment while also trapping in some additional heat in a cold area. Now, if you've ever used a poncho, you know that's not the case with that thing as it's just like a total sweat box. Overall though, I really do like the Predator system. So let's go over a few pros and cons. The first pro is a huge one. It's extremely lightweight and it can adapt into all your gear. By using shoulder sleeves and smart connection straps, you can connect in and around various gear setups, 
to give you an interconnected system to break up your profile instead of just draping a random thermal blanket over your shoulders. Draping a thermal blanket over your shoulder does not work either. That's very silly. But I had a plate cure on during all of our video today and during all of our testing, and I thought the Predator system just integrated seamlessly. Even when I was changing between the different hoods, it was, it was all super easy. All right, though, that kind of leads me into my next big pro. You can quickly change from environment to environment without a bunch of big bulky gear or a bunch of different colored plate carriers. Being able to pack it down easy and have multiple different colorways means you can adapt to different environments quickly, moving from urban to forest to even winter wonderland and have your profile broken up by the 3D patterns and dread system. Now, ghillie suits have existed for a long time and those are fantastic for what they do, but they're big and bulky and absorb water like nothing else. And comparing it to ghillie suits, it really brings me to my last pro. Unrestricted movement that keeps you cool instead of overheating you. The 3D breakup designs serve double duty by helping me maintain breathability, but still give me a nice shade from the sun to help me keep overall body heat down. I never felt like I was wearing an extra layer and the whole system felt light. I also love the shoulder system to keep my arms free to access gear or maneuver a weapon system even in tight areas. Oh, All right, so we have a whole ton of pros. Now what about cons? Uh, it's not waterproof, I suppose. Uh, I already said it's not waterproof. Who actually thought that it was? So surprisingly on my back, where like the water came in, it really was only in those small holes. So if it was raining, you would have a little bit of that water protection. I'm kind of surprised by that. Like you, you wouldn't get drenched, you'd definitely get wet though. I ended up really, really liking the Cobra and Viper hoods and the whole Predator system when you get all the pieces assembled. I just think these are such smart products to give you a cohesive system that is easy to store and deploy while also giving you camouflage to match your environment and break up your profile so well. I think the only thing that I wish it had was some thermal mitigation to like, you know, break up your whole thermal profile, but I heard that they have some tricks for that also. I have the original Gen 1 thermal load reduction dreads, but they've actually made some upgrades to include a full thermal reduction veil, longer dreads, and even leafy styles to break up your profile under thermal even further. So stay tuned and we'll upgrade our whole Cobra hood setup to see if we can make it invisible to thermal also. Hiding from thermal in a full mobile unrestricted suit, well, that would be pretty exciting and I definitely want to test that out. Apparently Bees also makes like a sleeve that you can store all this stuff in and then connect it in your kit. So I definitely want to see that thing too. But I hope this video showing you all the different features of the whole Bees Predator Ghillie suite was useful in your purchasing decisions. I want to say thanks to all of our YouTube and Patreon members. You make it possible for us to test all this gear, go out in the field and then try it out for you and tell you if it's actually good. And I'll tell you what, this, this thing is awesome and I look like a total badass. And I want to say thanks to everyone that likes, comments and subscribes. Comment down below about what you think about the Bees Predator Ghillie system and if you like the Cobra hood or the Viper hood better, I want to hear about it. All right, everyone, Walsh out. You guys didn't even tell me. I didn't even look cool guy there at the end. You got you to gotta wear all the cool, cool guy stuff. I thought it was kind of ridiculous, though, the number of people that apparently asked bees if this is waterproof. Like, for something to be waterproof, it has to be sealed. No, it's not going to be waterproof with a bunch of holes in it, but it is super breathable, uh, super maneuverable. I was really surprised by how well it works, um, how well you can actually break up your profile from just something as simple as this, and then you can just throw it in a pack. So I, I really am a big fan of this whole suite. I've been using it for a long time, but kind of piece by piece, like, oh, hey, here's a helmet cover. Hey, here's the gat cover. Oh, hey, here's the Viper hood. Oh, here's the backpack cover. But it wasn't until this video where I finally like, put all the pieces together where I was like, man, like this is pretty crazy. Even from a civilian perspective, like you, you can do some pretty nut stuff and take things up a few wizarding levels with some basic products. So yeah, I hope this was helpful. Uh, working on some more, oh, I finally got plate carriers. So stay tuned, plate carriers are next. You're gonna enjoy it, it's, it's such a good carrier. The, the guy who makes that is such a nice guy too. Uh, any other ridiculous stuff I can think of? Plus it makes me look about a billion times cooler than I actually am. <laughs>
kids did really did spray me with a hose. They loved it. All right. Later, everyone. You got to go.